drew me here to begin with was the fact that I had always been doing art as a child, as a little kid in high school. You know, all that being the the top art kid in your class, like every year, like since first grade. And um, so it was just kind of like the ma the natural progression of things was to just go pursue it, right? As like an adult, and uh, you know, you go to art school, right? And you do that. So, you know, if you're gonna do that, you're gonna go to New York City. Like, why wouldn't you? Um, checked out a couple other places, but you know, once you realize New York City is your norm, it's your campus, and you're just gonna meet really crazy, awesome people there. Then, like, why wouldn't you go there for art? Like, it's since World War II, and you know, after that, it's just been the art capital of the world. around with, they focus on energy, me doing whatever the hell I want at that moment, and really not caring too much about the end result. Um, a lot of the influences, like where a lot of these, some of these images, like where they come from, is just the day-to-day, -day, you know, stuff you see. It's just, I wanted to simplify everything. I just wanted to keep it really, now I'm dealing with just like two, two materials, right? You got canvas, maybe gesso, by pastel and just like even to drawing because that's it's kind of like what I knew you know like before you paint you draw right getting back to the basics of basics basics right it's like it's just paper and a crayon or a pastel now it's like just pastel and just canvas and like bigger scale and a lot of more expressive that way and I could really like get in there and just like really like you know mess things up and just have a good time a lot of some of these characters, you know, they're very like influenced by just day-to-day -day stuff. Like this guy's got a beer can, there's a cell phone in that dude's hand, tank tops. Like a lot of like just because you know when you go to a rave or something when you like when you're like at a, a bus stop or you're at like a subway or something, you see all these like crazy, crazy different looking people. And if you know, like depict them, you know, you don't have to draw them exactly how they look, you can draw them however you want. And you don't even have to draw them specifically. You just draw anybody, people. So I just wanted to like kinda like the cannons with like, people next to each other. New York City, uh, you know, just like won't die. I mean, it can. It's just it will evolve. It will become something different, better than what it was, but it's not gonna die. It'll never die. It will change. And that's just the matter of the situation. I mean, you look at any cities that have morphed and changed, like, they always evolve. They just move from what they once were and they develop into better, interesting things. They don't stay stagnant. And this city will definitely, after COVID, it's just really gonna, probably gonna become something we can't even predict yet. It's gonna be something that will be, it will, it will mirror the way we are.